Hey Megan Scully and this is the Limerick Post Show. We're here in the Clayton Hotel in Limerick. We have to well, welcome you back to Limerick as well Hello. and welcome you here for, of course, Game On 2FM, Mary Crow, Donico, Callan. How are you guys getting on? Good, delighted to be back looking over the water at Clare though, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get the Clare plug in yeah. there. <laughs> I have loads of family coming in tonight as well, so everyone's very excited for our live Game On show, our very first Game On on the road. And we came to Limerick because Donica wanted to. Yeah, yeah Donica, exactly. Tell us what it's like to be back here in the Munster grounds looking over Thoman Park. Yeah, it's good. It's great. In fact, if I'm honest, I'm nervous. Marie knows um, I, since we met up today, normally I'm kind of um, noisy and um, always chatting rubbish. But not at the moment. I'm kind of nervous because this is where we used to have our team meetings. Yes. And you're right, it was only a kind of eight minute bus journey over to the grounds. You'd get to listen to three songs. and um, But it's great. It's great to be back. Limerick for me kind of feels like a second home. I have a tie in with the place. So it's great to be back. Now, before we get to the rugby story this weekend, um, I'll have to ask like the, the, the new show. So how, how's it going? Yeah, it's great. So we're about eight weeks in now and we're having a brilliant time. It's so much fun. Two hours, Monday to Friday, 2 FM. Um, myself and Donica are on five days a week and then Ruby Walsh is on Mondays and Tuesdays, which is a scary enough experience, I have to say. <laughs> He's tough. He's a tough nut. He yes, holds he us to account all the time. I work the desk and any time I make a mistake, he gives out to me. No! He does, yeah, yeah. Donica's, Donica's like a teammate. He's like, it's okay, you got the next one, you got the next one. If I fail to hit the ads, and Ruby's like, you have to be better. Yeah. Simple as that. He's Such a perfectionist. No, he's just got no filter, and we uh, find it hard to get around him. Marie's gutted, though. She obviously asked for a rugby player. She was hoping for Greg O'Shea. <laughs> she ended up with a fella that puts his head between two asses. <laughs> no, <and pushes. laughs> I do have to ask, Donica, though, the transition now from rugby to TV and radio presenter, because obviously Ireland's fittest family as well. How have you found that transition? Um... I, I I don't know, is the honest answer. I was coming out of Mass about three months ago and a little girl turned around and went, Mommy, that's the man that works in Centra. <laughs> and it was there like, I won 94 caps and that's what she knows you for. So I'll be honest, I, I, for me and Marie knows it as well, I, you'd be driven and you'd want to do well at what you're at. And it's, it's really tough what Marie does every day and I'm trying to learn it. So I'm constantly nearly annoying her with how do I do an intro like going <laughs> going to a break is so hard isn't it like yeah, like you've no problem with it for me but I'm there like oh and then I, I get I, what I like is she gives me good teammate advice yeah. you straight away between the eyes way too long keep that shorter and they're like I know, time and out hours as well. We could talk about radio for hours, but let's talk about this weekend, of course. A huge game. So uh, what, what, what are the feelings you think around about it? Very positive. I think the last display against the Ospreys really showed that once they're back to where they need to be, they're back to, as Jonica said to me earlier, it's like new faces but the same old monster. So I think it's a really positive vibe coming into it and that's one of the reasons that we came down here as well because we knew that the whole city would be behind the team, that there's connections as well with Racing and we're going to talk about that tonight on the show. And uh, just a great vibe and excitement about the Champions Cup because like that's what people love like that th those tough games those European matches they have mm -hmm. so many good memories for the people of Munster for the likes of Donica and you just want those great memories again and starting this weekend and of course speaking of memories you know what's going to be like for the lads what you know coming in here having a bit of grub and then as you said getting that eight minute bus over like what is it like on Champions Cup day it's special it's totally different mm -hmm. it, it's totally different in Europe just from early in the week it, it's small little things the, the new balls come out, but then just walking around the roads, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Walking around the streets in Limerick and Cork, wherever you are, there's the excitement and there's also the responsibility. You know mm -hmm. you're reflecting everyone that will be there. So I think it's not far off a sellout on, on Saturday. And that makes it special because it, it's hard to describe it, but there's an emotional tie between the crowd. Yeah. It, it's unique to Munster Rugby and... Uh, hopefully Saturday we see it again and Marie was chatting three lads coming back Donica Ryan Simon mm. Zebo and Mike Prendergast you know so it's uh you know, homegrown lads as well trying to come in and rob the crown jewels. Like, I think now from we can safely say from social media, Zebo is very excited about this reunion, and I think he is going to be coming very pumped up for the game. Yeah, really well because sure, look, you're all still friends with him. You know, I know that <laughs> he sends you WhatsApp voice notes and you're you're slagging. So I can imagine he's still in touch with all the players. And like, you know, from the player that Zebo is, although he laughs and he jokes, like he's going to want to make his mark. He, you know, he's not going to he's not going to take it easy because it's monster. If anything, he's going to want to be the main man. So. I'd say yeah, he'll have the fear of God and the monster players as well. Yeah. So you speak about main man, Zebo likes to be the main man, doesn't he? Yeah, he certainly <laughs> does. And he is well, he's not the main man anymore. He had a little baby boy during yeah. the week, so great news and we're delighted for him. But like it's so funny, it, like I say to my own kids, like he's our friend and we love him, but for <laughs> eighty minutes he's you know, we don't and yeah. we'll do anything and that's the way it will be with the lads on Saturday.
Saturday and they'll want to reflect their respect for him mm. by actually probably putting him through the wall you know and that's the best way to show him how much they care about him as well and <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but they will they, especially for Donica as well they will heighten around those guys because they'll want them to know that they respect them yeah, I have to say, absolutely. Mary and Donica, thank you so much for making your first roadshow in Limerick and I can't wait to have you guys back again. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks. a million. Thanks for having us. Go on, Limerick City. <laughs>